Hey everyone, welcome to your 30 minute ultimate upper body workout. I'm really proud of you for showing up today. Let's go ahead and get you set up so we can rock into this workout. We're gonna focus on back muscles first and then we're gonna move down to chest muscles in horizontal loading fashion. I wanna make sure you get all of the muscles and all of the activity in your back before we move down to the chest so you can really focus on activating and pushing through those endurance challenges. We're gonna be working for 45 seconds today and resting for 15 three rounds through every exercise, and you'll see that the movements kind of go heavy to light in terms of the muscle groups, and then we'll start over with chest, heavy to light, so that you end up with push-ups for the chest, and you end up with supermen for the back at the end, really getting that mind-muscle connection. So make sure you have your water and your sweat towel, and if you have a bench and you wanna pull that out, or something to do a chest press on and to help you stabilize for your rows, you can grab that. I'm gonna use lighter weights like 10 pounds for my back flies, all the way up to things like 30 pounds for chest press and bent over rows. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, big arm cross. Three, two, one, let's go. Reach your fingertips back as you open. Great job. In your three working sets today, I wanna make sure that you're pushing up a little bit heavier each time you do the set or if you're not equipped to kind of handle heavier resistance, arms past your body. I want you to move with a little bit more intention. So maybe it is resting less in between reps. Maybe it's pushing with a little more power or pulling. Good, arms out to the side. Let's twist, twist. But you're gonna set the intensity today for yourself. In 30 minutes, you should be reaching muscle fatigue, and in each of your exercises, you should be at that point where you think, yeah, I don't know if I can do anymore. Good, stay right here. Fold and just kind of let your neck hang. Good job. Perfect, walk it into a pike position, and just take your head behind your arms and in front, rotating around the shoulders a little bit. You'll hear me say a lot throughout this workout, go until you're shaking, go until you're fatigued. And that requires you to pick weights that get you there. Good, drop down to your knees, a little twist. So if you're using the same weights the whole workout, it's not gonna be as effective for you in terms of strength and building muscle, switch sides, as if you were to go up a couple pounds on the heavier moves, especially the first part of each muscle group. Great job, come on up, walk it back, round your back as you come up, and then a gentle push forward. We're gonna get started with bent rows. Okay, I'm going to grab my bench and use that for support. So I'm gonna be alternating just a little bit here and here. Okay, we'll go in about 15 seconds. Like I said, rounds one, two, and three in one of those rounds. I want you to go a little bit heavier or move with a little more intention. All right, let's go. Four, 45 seconds of work. Two, one, here we go. Your tempo is one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So don't just drop the weight when you get it to the top. Fifteen. One more. Two. One. Rest. Good job. Two more rounds of that. If you can go heavier, let's go. All right. Let's go. Four. Ready? You're doing great. Big pull. Two. One. Fifteen. 
Pull the shoulder blade back. Don't just pull the dumbbell to your chest. Pull the shoulder blade back and then let it flow. 15. One more. Rest, good job. Last round, let's go, you gotta bump it up. Okay, here we go. Big pull, start with that shoulder blade retraction. Let's go. Come on, get there. Seven. Two, one, beautiful. 30 seconds, we're going into back flies. So you're lightening the weight up. We'll be back for a little bit heavier move right after this one. Same kind of movement though. Alternating left arm and then right arm. You can use the bench if you need that stabilization for your back. We're gonna keep a rounded arm, fly, fly, okay? So let's go in seven. And if you're using the bench, keep your chest open a little bit. Elbow drives back, two, one. Good, 15. Whew. 10. Two, last one, rest. Good, one down, two rounds to go. If that felt easy for you, bump it up, okay? Five. Two, one, let's go. Good job. Ten, nice work. Two, rest. You got one more round. Get to that point where you feel it in your back. You feel those muscles working. You might be going heavier than you thought you could, but ride that wave. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's go, you're strong. Good, come on, 15. Seven. Last one, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, 30 seconds here, and we're going into underhand rows. So I do want you kind of off the bench or the ground here, bending at the hips. Open your palms up here. Gliding your elbow back right past your hip. Okay? And we'll alternate again. We'll go in 10. Good. 
All right, I'm gonna start with my 20s. Let's go. Two, one, pull. I don't want you twisting. Here's what people can tend to do if this weight is too light. All right, you're standing all the way up. This dumbbell is here. Bend, pull. Great job, come on. Fifteen. Dig your heels in. Four. Rest. Whew. Now you will notice that does require a lot of lower back work. Okay, if you're feeling it there, it's okay if it's hurting. Drop down to the floor or the bench or go a little bit lighter, okay? Two, one, let's get it. Something I'm personally working on, lower back strength, so I can support deadlifts, squats, shoulder presses, core work. Good job, 15. Five. Rest. Whew. Good job, I'm gonna bump it up and I'm gonna rest on my bench in between reps. Okay, so go to where you need to go. Last round, two, one, get it, come on. Come on. You should be getting there, right? Close to failure. Five. Two. And rest. Whew. Okay. We're taking it down to the floor. We've got Superman. Three rounds. And if you want to advance this a little bit, you can always go on an elevated surface. Something like a bench is just an option, but if you have the ability to kind of fold over and you can secure your feet to lift or a BOSU or a stability ball, that's an option. Okay, I'm gonna go on the floor with you, but if you have that ability, go there, okay? Whew. All right, quick water break. We'll go in seven. Three rounds, 45 seconds. Two, one, go. I want you to think of your low back muscles lifting your chest off the ground. And aside from that, think about your shoulder blades reaching for each other. Fifteen. Rest, good. So if you've got something to kind of make your back more rounded at the resting point, and then a full range of motion, that'll make it more difficult. You'll get more out of it. Four, three, two, Let's go. Down, squeeze everything up. Don't worry so much about your legs. Just draw shorter blades back and lift the chest up. Fifteen. 
15. Chest way up, come on. Three. Rest. Great job. One more time through. If you can, maybe hold onto a band or something, pull apart as you lift. That's also a way to add a little more resistance. Let's go. Three, two, one. Also, control on the way down. 30. Fifteen. Come on, lift it up and hold it up if you can, and then look up. Up, 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 up. Get higher with your chest. Dig the hips in. Three. Rest. Beautiful job. You've got one minute, and we're transitioning to the chest, okay? We start off with chest press. Three rounds, both arms working together at the same time, either on the floor or on the bench. If you have a barbell and you want to set that up, go for it. We'll go chest press, chest fly, a little bit lighter. Single dumbbell chest press where you're kind of pushing through as you move. Push-ups, okay? So only three rounds. We'll go in 20 seconds. And this is a situation where you can probably surprise yourself with the weight that you choose. Like, oh, I really can do that. I really can lift a little more than I thought. Let's go. Five seconds. We start here. Three, two, one. Come on. Good job, second half. One, two, one, two. Remember our tempo. Nine. Rest. 15 seconds, go up if you can. Three, two, one, go. Great job. The tempo focus is going to make this intense. Keep it one. Two, up, one, two, 15. One more, five. Rest, good. One more time. Can you go up? You wanna try? I'm gonna leave my lighter weights here. If I need to drop down, they're there. But I gotta try this next way. Two, one, go. Good job. Second half right here. Let's go. Ten. Three, two, 
One, rest. Whew. Okay. Head to chest flies. I know I stopped about three seconds early there. I knew I didn't have another rep in me. I'm maxed out there. So if you get to that point, you're like, that's all the reps I got. I was almost a failure. Good job for pushing that hard. Chest fly. We're gonna open it up here. Lighter weight, probably starting with about half of what you started your chest press with. Rounded arms. Let's go. Two, one, come on. Right around the ribs. Feel that stretch, long arms. Fifteen. Five. And rest, good. Go up if you can. I do want you to get pretty close to failure here. The last 10 seconds of each working set should be your gauge. Let's go. You're thinking, wow, three, two, one, we're done, and I'm, I got a couple more reps left in me. You can go a little heavier. Good. If you get to that point in your fly where you're halfway up and you think, I don't know how I'm gonna finish, think about driving your elbow creases towards each other, okay? 10 seconds. And rest. Can you go up a little more? You got one more set, come on. Leave your lighter weights beside you, but try that next set. And if you need to drop down, they're right there, but. You're gonna surprise yourself a lot this month. Ready? Let's go, fly, last round. Now if you're going heavier, don't just zoom open, okay? Control, control, squeeze, squeeze. <sighs> 20. Seven, come on. Go one more. Three. Ah, oh, rest. Oh, okay. Now, I wanna challenge you to do something here. I'm gonna go a little lighter. Okay, two exercises left. We're gonna go with a double press double dumbbell press to kind of get you activating your chest muscles. So you have the option of holding just one dumbbell by the ends like this and pressing on the bench as long as you're driving your hands through. A little added challenge I thought of before the workout is if I put a towel in, by, in between my two dumbbells and I challenge myself to hold onto that towel the whole time, I can really activate my chest. So we'll go there in 15 seconds, okay? Ready, six seconds, and just set it up to where you have to squeeze the dumbbell so the towel doesn't fall on your face. Two, one, let's go. Drive those dumbbells together, come on. Two, 
rest. Whew. Good job, hopefully that makes sense. And if not, you're just pressing two dumbbells together on the way up and down, okay? All right, five seconds, let's go again. Three, two, one, drive, drive, drive together. Fifteen. Five. Rest. Oh, great job. One more round of that one. Just a little fun dumbbell closer for the chest. I'm gonna fold my towel in half just so it's not as long. All right. Two, one, let's go. Twenty, come on, push those dumbbells together. Push, 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 push. Ten. Three. And rest. Ow. Okay. Fifteen seconds. We got push-ups. That's it. Three rounds. Push-ups. If you have a little bit of a beginner approach to push-ups, I'd love for you to go incline. Okay. Wide. And push right back up. All right. Let's go. or if you're also just shaky and tired. <laughs> I'd rather you do incline before you drop down to your knees, just so you get the whole body involved, just like you would with a regular push-up. Good job, mind over matter here. The last thing you want to do right now is a push-up, and I'm pushing you to go there, so mind over matter. One more. Three, two, rest. Great job. I know this one is not easy, but this is our finisher. Two more rounds, and you've made it. Do not compromise your effort right now. Do not give me half effort. You're all out. Three, two, come on. Think strong. Let's go. Good, think strong. Last half. Fifteen. Last one. Rest. You got one more round. That's it. This is it right here. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. Big push. Tight core. Fifteen. Can you give me three more? Let's go, let's go. Five seconds. 
One more, two, one. Rest. Oh. You made it to your cool down. Drop down to the floor. Somehow I ended up here, so come on down. <sighs> Big deep breath. <sighs> great work, great work. Take your right arm, extend it out straight to the side. Bend your left, and we're gonna push. Nice and open as you drop the straight arm shoulder to the floor. <sighs> Good work today. Switch it over, straight arm, look away. Stretching out the chest here. I wanted to get maximum effort out of you today. So the first half pull, second half push. We've got one more time in the week where we'll hit half push, half pull. Make sure you grab your workout calendar so you can check that out. You know what's coming. You know when our rest days are. Slowly make your way back up to the top. Cross your arm over your chest. Great work. Strength month brings it out of me. So I hope you can feel this energy coming to you with everything that I've got. Helps me assure myself that I know you're getting the best programming for yourself, okay? And knowing that you're there pushes me so much. Cross your arm over and switch. I know that you're seeing this workout and I know you're depending on me to make everything that you've got show up for yourself, right? All the energy that you do or think you do not have, I know it's my job to pull that out of you. So. Stretch your forearms out. I'm gonna show up and give you everything I've got. Challenge you constantly. Can you go up? Can you get a little heavier in your weights? Can you push them with a little less rest in between reps? Okay, take me seriously when I say that. I'm not just preaching to say, you know, go hardcore, be better, whatever it is. I'm really here because doing that gets you better results. And that's my whole job, okay? In combination with mainly nutrition, right? I promise you this training is sufficient to change your body. If you train hard enough, you dedicate yourself entirely to your nutrition, your mental health, your sleep, your hydration, these changes will come with your persistence, with your dedication, and with everything that you've got saying, I'm not too scared to jump out of my comfort zone. And maybe you are, and that's all right, but in our minds, we're not too scared to jump out of our comfort zone. We're doing a little more than we ever have, right? We're pushing a little harder than we thought we could. That's what it takes, day in and day out. So rest at night, get your sleep, and then just wake up and continue practice getting into that mindset of I'm gonna go a little harder, I'm just not gonna stop, just not this time. I'm not gonna say yes to everything, okay? And I'm gonna say yes to the things that I know get me closer to where I wanna be. We'll see you back here for our next workout. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel before you head out, and if you finish the workout and you're here right now, give it a thumbs up. See you for the next one. Great job today.